are ticked. How dare these three guys, who you've put in charge of stuff, who are your boys, to defile you this way? You, you put these boys in position, and but you made this law that everybody, when they hear the sound of the music, don't do it, don't do it, that they got to bow down. Now, these three, though, they're not doing it. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, It is true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? He asked. Now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of all the instruments, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. So let's try it. He's given him a chance. Let's try it. Worship not, ye shall be cast into the same hour into the midst of the burning fire furnace. And who is that God that ye shall... Now I want to point something out real quick that I just noticed. Um, no, no, here is it. Okay, well let me, let me just point this out to you. Now in, in the English language, the only time you put a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence is when it is the beginning of a sentence. Every beginning of every sentence will start with a capital letter. Like up there now, starts with an N, and the N is capital because it's the beginning of the sentence. The other thing is things of respect. People's names, names of churches, names of grocery stores or whatever, things of respect, anything that has a name to it will also be capitalized. And if Christopher backed it up, but you don't have to do it, okay. What's that on here? Oh, right here. G-O-D. God. Now, why is this guy not capitalized? It's true. Wow. Because this guy here is not a respected God because it's not real. Go to the next verse. The God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is capitalized because that God is real. Let's go back. God that shall deliver you out of my hands. The king is tempted him. Now, next verse. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said unto them, O king, tell him. I'm sorry. Wash my hands. O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Now they're respectful to the king. He's the king. But he's telling them, we're not going to bow down to this because this is created. As the king put it up, it can be torn down as well. But the real guy can't tear it down. But if not be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not... Sorry, read that. Next verse. We didn't do that one. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship thy golden image which thou hast set up. Why not? Because it's not the real God. Then Nebuchadnezzar, full of fury, show me your angry face. <laughs> show me your angry face. You're mad. Well, you are ticked. You're about to, you're about to, he's about to open up a can of fiery furnace on these boys. All right. And, and the form of his visage, his age, visage, whatever, was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These were his boys. He put them in charge of stuff. Now he's been, they're tempting them. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was to be heated. Who wants to do this one? You want to do it? Who wants to do it? I'm not doing it. James, you want to do it? Miguel. Miguel. Well, I'm just going to warn you. And whoever does it's going to die, so come on. I'm fine. You want to do it? Okay, come on. She's about to die. 
Is that almost the dark too? Come on, Mr. Joe. Come on, Don. Wait a second, wait a second. I No, no more. We only need two. Two guards. Okay. Stay right here. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sadness of the loss of these two ladies. They are about to die, and there's going to be nothing left of these two. So you go ahead and go over there and just pretend you're throwing logs at the fire. Beat it up. Turn up the knob. Do whatever you got to do. And when you do, back away and die. Okay? There should be smoke, just. Sir, let's see. Go on in there and turn it up. I'm sorry, but the king has spoken. You three are getting ready to die, too. You gotta throw them into the furnace. You bind them up. Come on, you big wigs. This is what it's like to be kicked out of the church. And what they do. Kyle was smart, he just pushed this down the steps. Get in there, I'm sorry. All right. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their ordered other, their other garments. They were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace that was heated seven times hotter. Therefore, because the king commanded what was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flames of the fire slew those men that took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, except for Kyle. Because <laughs> he didn't pre read the scripture. Gary, you're dead. <laughs> they got burned up. There's nothing left of them. There's no bones, there's no nothing. They're disintegrated. They're gone. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into their midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was ast astonished? Astonished? Okay. And rose up in haste. Haste? You're mad. Come here. You're, you're, you're mad. Show me your angry face. And spake and said unto those counselors, Come here. Well, you gotta go check and see because you want to make sure they're dead. But stay back because I want you to die too because they're, that was really running the story at this point. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king, okay, uh, and spake and said to his counselors, "Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Right. Didn't you throw three men in there?" No. Yes, true. Yeah. Yes, true. true. Did you? Oh, I was waiting to the bottom. They answered and said unto the, unto the king, True, O king. Somebody said it. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt and no form of the fourth is like the Son of God. So come on out, people. There's Shadrach. 